Is dating while fat harder? Do you think that you face more rejection as a fat person in dating than a normal sized person? Hey everyone, welcome back to the One Year 100 Pounds podcast. My name is Whitney Holcomb and I am author of the book One Year 100 Pounds. For those of you who are new here, I lost 100 pounds on my own when I was 14 years old and I have kept it off for almost 20 years. Now I have both a YouTube channel and Spotify podcast where I give my thoughts and opinions on the fat acceptance movement, which I am not a part of, as well as just the weight loss community in general, as well as the health and fitness sphere, because it's just a subject that I know well and I'm very passionate about. Today, we are going to be discussing a TikToker that goes by the name of McGonagall Says. She recently posted a TikTok video about a first date she had that did not go well. I've been having trouble getting the video and being able to download it to show in this episode. Episode. So instead, I will just leave you some screenshots and basically tell you what goes down in this short video that she posted online. Um, basically, it shows her getting ready for a date and she's really excited and she's like, okay, hope it goes well. Um, and then a few minutes later, she comes back and you see her in the video and she looks visibly upset and she says, you know, it did not go well. She says, basically, the guy showed up, he gave her a hug, he said, hey, nice to meet you. They walk into the restaurant and she she says literally as soon as they walk in the restaurant he said you know what can you step outside for a second took her outside and he said look i'm just not feeling it and i think we should just end this now basically um and then so she left and then she went back to her car and she filmed the video and you know she was visibly upset for obvious reasons and she said at the end, you know, dating while fat sucks. And this video went viral. Um, I think a lot of people, you know, obviously for obvious reasons felt bad. Um, and then she also received criticism. You know, she got a lot of criticism for people saying, you know, obviously saying cruel things about her weight, um, saying that she like catfished the dude and that's why he walked out um, or what they call like fat fishing, basically where people, women or men do not show like full body pics or what they really look like. Um, before going on dates with people. She addressed this uh, in, in a, another video, um, even showing like her profile in these any dating apps, saying like, no, she's always been transparent that she's a plus size girl. She always, you know, shows full body pictures. Um, so she was not catfishing this guy. However, it was clear from, I think just her comment on, and from the video that she thinks this guy dumped her essentially um, because she was fat. I thought that I would make a video about this and talk about the subject of dating while plus size and if it's really any harder than dating when you are a normal size. And I think the obvious reason may be yes, that dating a normal size is a lot easier than dating plus size. But I think there's a little more to it than that. And I just thought it was an interesting conversation to have. So for me personally, I, you know, I was so young when I lost the weight. Like I, I, I don't know the difference between dating when I was fat versus, you know, not being fat because I was so young. I didn't even start dating until I was in my 20s. So I have no idea what it is like to be a plus size girl while dating. I do know what it's like just to be a girl, like a normal size girl while dating. And I can tell you that it sucks. I had a very hard time dating in my 20s. Um, and I knew a lot of girls, a lot of models even, um, that also had a hard time dating, um, both men and women. So I just wanted to put that out there right away that I think that dating for everyone, especially in this day and age, I think it sucks. Whether you're fat, skinny, pretty, ugly, it just sucks all the way around. But while I have seen so many people, uh, again, all genders, all races, all sizes, whatever, have problems dating, I've also seen people of all sizes, all races, all genders, um, not have trouble dating. So I, again, this is just from observation alone, but I have known plenty of plus size people, uh, plus size women specifically, who have never had any trouble dating at all. And you know, they have always been able to get dates, have always been in relationships. And not just with like any guy, because I know that, okay, as a woman, you could have a date whenever you want, basically. Um, but like they say, best things in life are worth waiting for. Meaning like, yes, there is always going to be some guy who will want to take you out or want to take you home or specifically um, but those are typically the ones who come the easiest typically are not the best choices. So I'm not saying that these women were just going out with anyone. They were not. Most of them were very, very picky, actually. Um, and they never had a problem dating. So I just thought that was kind of important to point out because I do feel bad for people, you know, women especially or men, you know, who believe that their size 
makes them unworthy of love or that, you know, no one will like them because of their size. And I just from observation alone, I know that that is not true. Um, like I recently had like an online friend that I met online and she said something kind of similar to me. She was talking about dating and she's like, you know, yeah, that's another reason why I, why I want to lose weight. I just feel like the kind of men that I attract as a plus size woman, like it's just not the men I want or they're all weird or gross. Um, and she's also very, you know, she's also very beautiful. Um, that is the thing. I don't think that, by the way, being bigger means that you are not, you can't be attractive. I think attractive people are attractive, whether they're big or small. Um, but anyhow, she, you know, was saying she thinks that this is one of the reasons why, you know, dating is hard for her. I think that there are two sides to this debate. Um, I mean, number one, like I just said, I, Again, observational alone have seen plenty of plus size girls who've never had trouble dating. However, that doesn't mean that being plus size doesn't make dating some people more complicated. Again, I think that just dating in general sucks. Like I was telling this, the one friend that, you know, said she thinks the guys who are attracted to her, like the weird guys who are attracted to her is because she's plus size. And I can confirm that just men in general are weird being just a regular size, like they're just weirdos out there. Um, so I think that in general, people take dating very personally and it's hard not to. I, I was the same way. You know, you take like, oh, this guy didn't text me back or, you know, he's a weirdo and he was attracted to me. What, is, what does that say about me? I'm sorry, just in general, for the most part, men are just weird in the dating sphere. I, I don't think it has so much to do with you as it just has to do with, with them. Like, there are just some weird guys out there. And when it comes to this girl in this video who, you know, said that, oh, dating while well, fat sucks. Um, I don't know anything about her as far as like, she part of the fat acceptance movement or the health at every size. Um, I don't know, I didn't go that far into her profile. I don't know what she said about her weight, if she's trying to lose weight, if she's happy at that size. Um, I, you know, I don't, but just from that comment in general, um, it made it sound like she, she wasn't, like she was complaining about being plus size. Like she was blaming her dating woes on being fat. In this situation in particular, it's hard to say. I mean, maybe the guy, yeah, maybe he wasn't feeling it because she was bigger than he expected. I mean, I don't know. Again, she said that she didn't catfish him, that she showed him pictures of what she looked like, like full body pictures. Um, and again, just from my observation, I know that there are men who are attracted to bigger women, like they don't care about that. Um, so I, I highly doubt that this guy rejected her because she was fat. Um, I mean, like if he knew, unless it was like a blind date or something, but it sounds like it was from an app. So if he knew what she looked like, if she was transparent about being a plus size girl, um, I doubt it was because of that. Like he knew what he was getting into. Uh, it could have been, again, a myriad of other reasons. Um, and I'm sure it was again, you know, so I think it's interesting. She's blaming it on being fat, but, um, I, I probably think it wasn't that again, <laughs> there are just so many weird dudes out there. Um, you know, who knows, maybe he just really wasn't feeling the energy. Maybe, you know, he thought she looked a little bit different in person. Um, who knows? I mean, again, as someone myself who did a lot of online dating, like I definitely know, you know, it, there's such a difference between pictures and then people in real life. Like I've definitely gone up to dates and like, oh, like even though they might kind of look like their picture, it's just the energy is totally off and just not into it even right away. Um, so, you know, does it suck that this guy like rejected her so quickly? Yes. Um, but the alternative, I guess, could have been that he could have just gone on the date. They could have had, you know, a nice polite time and then ghosted her afterwards um, or rejected her afterwards. Would it have hurt less if he did it that way? I don't know. I think just rejection in general sucks. Um, you know, I would say for, for this girl, I, in some ways I think it's probably better um, that she found out right away instead of investing more time in a person and having like, okay, the possibility that maybe this is going well only to find out that he's never gonna text you. So in this particular situation, you know, I don't know, was he right or wrong? Again, it's it's there's never like an easy way to let someone down and it never feels good being rejected no matter how a person does it. Um, I personally, I, I think it was probably very blunt and to the point. I, you know, it doesn't sound like he was particularly cruel or rude. Um, he definitely could have been really rude. He could have told her point blank, oh, I, you know, you're too fat for me. Or, you know what, you're uglier in person. And he didn't say any of that. He just said, like, I'm just not feeling it. Um, and he didn't say why. Um, and again, for this woman, 
clearly it sounds like she's insecure about her weight. Otherwise, I don't think she would have made that comment as far as, you know, dating while fat sucks. So she clearly thinks that her weight is the problem that she is having trouble dating. So dating while plus size. Um, again, I don't have experience dating while plus size. I can only speak from my own observations. Um, and yes, and while I know plenty of plus size people who have been in relationships and have no trouble, I, I think that we can't deny that there is a reality that sure, I mean, being plus size makes so many things more complicated in life. Um, and I think that there are many reasons while dating while fat makes things hard. I think number one, um, look, you know, while there are definitely plenty of people who have no problem dating someone who's bigger, I think that there is just the very real reality that there are, you know, plenty of people who also don't, like they're just not attracted to that. And everyone has a right to be attracted or not attracted to whomever. Um, I think, you know, dating is the one time where you can be discriminatory. You know, I honestly don't think that you have to explain to anyone why you do or do not want to date them while you, why you do or do not want to have sex with them. You know what I mean? So I think if you are a plus size person uh, and you're dating, I think that, you know, automatically, yes, your pool of potential dating partners is just going to be a little bit smaller because you're just not the norm, right? So there is that very real aspect of the reality of dating while plus size. I think too, the other reality of being plus size while dating is that you probably are not going to be your most confident self or maybe not even look your best when you are fat. So real quick, I just said that I do not believe that being fat means you are unattractive. Again, I think, you know, like, clear like this big girl in the video, she was very beautiful. She was just bigger. That is my personal opinion. I know some people have different opinions, um, but there is also the other reality where being fat can make you unattractive. Um, and what I mean is like, I think this, it depends on how big you are too and, and how you carry the weight. And again, I'm not, I'm not saying this to, to be mean. I think it's just a reality. Um, like, look, when you are so overweight to the point, you know, where you, you can barely move um, or, you know, you have so much extra tissue covering up your features on your face um, or, you know, you're so overweight that it kind of like dis it kind of like deforms your body shape where it's just it's not showing you in the best light. Like, yes, you know, point blank um, being fat. Can you make you less attractive? It just it just can. And I, I don't again, I don't mean that to be rude. Um, it can also do things that cause hormonal, hormonal changes and maybe, you know, make your hair not as nice, make your skin break out. I think on another level, too, um, you look, we know I know at least definitely for me when I was fat, you know, wearing certain clothes like you just can't wear certain clothes that you want to wear. They don't fit as well. Um, I think, too, a lot of women or a lot of people who are heavier like they kind of just purposely don't put as much effort into their appearance because of how you know insecure they feel already about their body like you know they're probably not going to try as hard to dress well when like they know that like okay like nothing looks good on them it doesn't fit the way they want it to so they're just gonna throw on a t-shirt and like some baggy pants just which is what i did you know when i was fat and i definitely think this just ties into like your confidence at being that size like it, it does when you are more confident at any size you're gonna look better um you know, confidence really does shine through. But yeah, if you are already insecure about how you look and your weight, then it is gonna make you less attractive because you're probably just not gonna, like I said, put as much effort into your appearance. Like I definitely know when I was losing weight um, and after I lost the weight, like it was just a world of difference in how I carried myself and how I dressed now, because now I could actually fit into the clothes, um, even like, you know, doing hair and makeup where before I felt like, oh, like what's the point? Like I just felt like oh, I'm just ugly anyway. Um, and I wasn't, you know, I, I understand that now I wasn't, but back then that's how I felt. So I think that is probably one of the biggest pro like problems dating while plus size is just having that insecurity. Um, again, unless you are someone who is truly happy with your size and that's never bothered you. Okay. That's different. But again, probably if you're watching this, you are someone who you're not happy with your size and you are actively trying to change. So in that way, yes, losing weight will definitely make 
dating easier for you because when you lose the weight, you're going to feel better about yourself. You're probably going to look better because you're going to put more effort into your appearance. Um, and you also just will physically probably look better because the less extra body fat you have on you, like the more your features can shine through, um, the more your natural shape can sh shine through. Uh, it just, you know, from a physical standpoint, it generally looks better. And for sure, when you feel more confident and you love yourself more, then you are going to attract better people into your life. That's just how it works. And yes, you know, you probably will open up your dating pool a little bit. That's just kind of, again, that's just the hard truth is that there are some people who will not be attracted to you if you are fat. Um, and you know, whether that's right or wrong, I don't know. It's up to you whether or not, you know, once you lose weight, if you want to date someone like that. Um, but you know, sometimes it just kind of is what it is. And I have spoken so many times about how losing weight really did change my life for the better in so many ways. Um, it does, it makes your life better. Like being fat truly does suck. Again, I don't know what it's like dating while fat, but I know so many other ways being fat sucks. And when it comes to dating, you know, there are so many other reasons for people to reject you. There are so many other reasons why dating is difficult. Um, but at least if you lose the weight and you get down to a normal healthy size, at least you know it's not that. Because I, I think that, especially like this woman in this video and I, you know, my friend and other people that I, that I know are, you know, plus size, them being fat, is always in the back of their mind. So whenever anything happens, whether they get rejected from a, like a partner, or rejected from a job interview, or if someone's rude to them or whatever, and I've heard this so many times, they always say to me, you know, I think it's because I'm fat. Like, you know, they they want to assume, whether right or wrong, I don't know in the situation, right? It's, it's always hard to say, but they assume that, you know, like this bad thing happened to me because I'm fat. So at least when you lose the weight, at least you will know, well, it's not because I'm fat. So again, in, you know, life when everything is so hard and when rejection sucks in general, no matter who you are, at least having like that out of the picture, you know, at least you're, you're not left wondering like, okay, was it my weight? Was it my breath? Was it my makeup? You know, at least you don't have that because now when you know, like, okay, look, I'm confident in my body. I'm even confident in how I look. Like I know that like, okay, that wasn't the problem. Like me, like I wasn't the problem. It must've been something else. And I think that's definitely important because it's just like one less insecurity that you have to have. But finally, I think the point I wanted to make also is if you are someone who is plus size and you are struggling to date or you just are struggling in life in general, um, again, I advocate for leading a healthy lifestyle. And if you are overweight or obese, losing the weight, getting to a healthy weight, because I just know how dramatically it has changed my life. That being said, I want to really reiterate Iterate, though that losing weight because you think it's going to make you more attractive or make you more dateable or make you more successful these are all things that are can be true but it should never come from a place of self-hatred I know that may be kind of hard to understand especially if you are in the thick of it right now and you are really frustrated with yourself and you hate your body and you hate the way your life is but I think it's important to understand your worth at every size, um, which is why I wanted to make this video and point out that I do know plenty of plus size people who are in relationships. You are lovable at every size. You are worthy at every size. But at the same time, losing weight does not mean that you hate yourself. And I, I think that it, it actually you need to love yourself before you can even lose the weight. Um, like I talked about in my own weight loss journey, I really believe that one of the biggest factors to while why I was motivated, while I was able to lose the weight was the fact that that year was finally the first year I really made any friends. I've talked about it before, like I made a, a good group of friends in eighth grade going into high school. And I really think that gave me, that changed something in me. That gave me more confidence than I'd ever had. You know, just knowing that, oh, there are people who like, love me and like me the way I am. Um, and it still didn't mean, I obviously still wanted to lose weight. And there were so many reasons why I wanted to lose weight and better myself. But I think having those people in my life, it made it more possible. It made it me feel like, okay, like I can do anything, you know, because I had acceptance from other people. So again, I wanna reiterate that losing weight, being, you know, calling yourself out on your bullshit, being tougher on yourself when it comes to being more disciplined in your diet or really any goal in life, that's a form of self-love. I'm not saying that you should lose weight so that that guy over there likes you. I'm not, I'm saying that you should lose weight for yourself because you're gonna love yourself even more and you're gonna feel even better about yourself. Um, and probably once you do lose the weight and you look, you know, 
you look awesome, you're not gonna wanna date that guy over there who rejected you. Like you're not even gonna care about that guy, right? You're not gonna be, wanna be friends with those people who rejected you. Again, you, because you, love yourself more now and you are more confident in yourself, you're going to attract better people into your life. You're going to attract people who genuinely like you for who you are. So that's how you should think of your weight loss journey. This is self-love. Getting healthy is self-love. Being the best version of yourself is self-love. Um, but sometimes that means you have to be tough on yourself. It means that you have to be disciplined. Anyhow, that's all I have for you guys today. But I would be curious to hear in the comments, um, you know, what your experience is or was like as someone, you know, dating plus size. Um, again, you know, I, I, I don't know. I can only speak from my own observation, but if you are someone who is struggling and you think you are unworthy or un unlovable, um, I, I just hope that, you know, my viewpoint and my own obser observation can maybe help you see your situation from a different viewpoint. Um, again, if it's possible for other plus size people to find love, then I, it's possible for you as well. Um, and again, it doesn't mean that you don't ever want to or you know can't lose the weight even if you do find someone that you love um again i i think the best version of yourself is self-love losing weight can fall into that category being healthier um and again i think just the healthier you are the better you feel about yourself you're going to attract better people into your life in general but you don't need to be skinny to feel that way about yourself you can start feeling that way about yourself now and then i really think your weight loss journey and your self-development journey will be even easier thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel or podcast and i will see you guys next time mm -hmm.